for example, I can tell you when I talk about cursor, it has two models. When a lot of programmers watching, they can understand. So cursor allows you when you hit the tab button, it automatically predicts, oh, this guy, if let's say is changing name of Daniel George from camel case to Pascal case, let's say D capital Daniel, A N I E L lowercase. And then let's say I change that name and then I hit tab, it will automatically predict, oh, this guy is going to change Harnoor's name, H capital Harnoor. So that's how it auto corrects your entire file by predicting what, where I should be moving the cursor to when I can do tab to correct. That's why a cursor for code editors is very popular with most accurate tab to fix things in a project. And number two model that cursor makes is embeddings. If it has like thousands of files, when we code there are thousands of files, thousands of Java files, and with embeddings, it creates a relationship between what files are important and when you chat with it, it automatically understands that, oh, if I'm editing this UI file, then this is the backend of that file, like this is the Java backend of that CSS HTML UI and it only edits that and it's faster rather than sending the whole code base to the cloud, open AI. So that's what you're doing in a similar way. So for example, you're doing embeddings in a way that all the nodes you take, you're drawing the relationship, what nodes are related that's similar to cursor. And number two, you predict what to-do list I want to do from my notes. If I if I, I talk to, let's say, talked about thousands of things with you, and it'll create to-do list from that and automatically predict at 5 p.m., oh, I want to, let's say, finish something that Daniel asked me to do. Yeah, so that it is, is fantastic. Yeah, exactly, so we are <laughs> trying to build that uh, layer. So you have the cap listening layer, then you have the memory layer, then you also have the proactive, you know, the in the intelligence layer that's constantly trying to predict what you want to know. 100%. So the memory layer is making all these embeddings and grouping all these like the related conversations and themes across your life so that it can retrieve it later. But then the predictive layer is actually always, if you ask me a question or we're talking about some topic and we don't know some fact, the Twin Mind app is showing you in real time the answers to those questions. Wow. So you could be the smartest person in the room. You know, you ask me the capital of a country or some interview question in a job interview and the answer is right there. What